Welcome to part three of this digital clock. I found the holes were not equidistant from each other, so the pins had to be on the sides of the switch to actually fit in the holes. They're wider this way than they are that way. So the switch would only go in one way. Looking at the silk screen, this capacitor is 104, which this capacitor has written on it 104, which helps. There are codes to tell you what the reading is of that. This is 152, which on the board, I don't even see a spot for 152. But both of these are supposed to be 30 PF. There, I've got 130. I'm wondering if they sent this one by mistake. Which is a possibility, I guess. I'm, I've got a whole bag of resistors. I mean capacitors. So I'm going to go through these and see if I can find another 30 to fit my second one in here. I was looking for the values on these capacitors. I was looking for a 10 UF and I found it. It's right there. It says 10 UF on both of these. I assume they were the right ones because there was two. And then the other one goes here. Um, again, the capacitors are marked with the negative side. The negative side is the hash marks. The positive side is no hash marks. And you just stick them in. These are your electrolytic capacitors. We'll solder them in. Again, I'm having to rest the component, this little component, on my little pencil holder because the capacitor is too high to lay flat, so the part keeps falling out. So if I rest the component on this bump, then I can solder it. Some of the components, when you get them, are going to be all bent out of shape. So you kind of have to bend things back into shape. I don't know why they were all bent, but it, these bent prongs were hidden inside the styrofoam this way. So apparently they did that where they put this piece together, which means this is going to be fun trying to get into the PCB because they're not in any kind of order like they're not evenly spaced the last one was easy to get in that one's actually a little loose so I gotta be careful make sure it's flush when I go to solder it but the other two are holding into the PCB really tight so they don't fall out having them upside down. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of styrofoam under this last one just to make sure it stays flush. I found one more jumper point there and everything else seems to be in place. I don't see anything else I'm missing. So I'm going to take one of these cut off um, 
I'm gonna bend it and then stick it in as my jumper. So now I've got a solder bridge right in here where I um, was trying to put in that jumper so I've got to try to clean that out. Uh, hope I can do it. I think I'm going to use another piece of wire to kind of clean it out as I heat it up with the soldering iron. So if I do this. I'm going to attempt to look and see if I got it. Bridge taken care of. Alright, I got 5 volts. The, car, the PCB actually says it works between 5 and 12 volts. Alright, I'm going to screw these in, positive and negative. Positive and ground. Screw these in. Tight. Relax. All right, we're gonna plug it in. Wish me luck. I got two bulbs working, but that's it. Okay, after a little bit of looking around, I found another jump point that I missed. But I've already put this in. <laughs> so, my guess is I should... I could try to take it out, but I don't have a... Um, well, I do have a desoldering kit, but I think instead what I'm going to do is lay this piece over the top of it. And since the green is covered in a plastic, it should be okay. And I will just solder it in place. Plug my soldering iron back in. Alright, it's soldered in. I just got a little bridge point there. Hopefully it doesn't um, short circuit anything else. So I'm going to plug this back in. Turn my power back on. Four lights. Oh, but I forgot to put the PCB in. <laughs> it's sitting right here. So let's unplug this. One more time. Yay. It's counting. It's counting. got a counter. I thought there's supposed to be a clock. Interesting. I'm gonna play with this a while and I'll come back and do a Tutorial, maybe I have something wrong here for the reason why it's only doing a timer. 
Uh, maybe I need to find the instructions. Thanks for watching.